Cell Structure and Function, guided by Dr. Elora Madden, MDS, presented by Swati Agarwal, PG, one year. Contents, one, introduction, two, prokaryotes and eukaryotes, three, universal principle of living cells, four, cell membrane and dynamics, five, nucleus and nucleolus, cytoplasm, organelles and inclusions, eight, cytoskeleton, nine, summary, ten, conclusion, Definition. The cell is the structural and functional unit of all living cells, sometimes called the building blocks of life. Unicellular organism. Multicellular organism. Cell. Latin. Cella. A small room. Coined by Robert Hooke. Schleiden, botanist, and Schwann, zoologist, 1839 make individual observations about cells and form the cell theory. Its postulates state that 1. All living things are composed of cells. 2. The cell is the simplest structural unit of all living things. Fifty years later, Rudolf Virchow said all cells come from pre-existing cells. Cell types. Over billions years ago, Living organism divided into three main divisions. 1. Archaea. 2. Bacteria. 3. Eukarya. Prokaryotes. Eukaryotes. Protists. Algae. Plants. Fungi. Animal cells. Some features distinguishing prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells. 1. Nuclear body. Eukaryotes. Bounded by a nuclear membrane contains one or more paired linear chromosomes, nucleolus present, prokaryotes, not bounded by a nuclear membrane, usually contains one circular chromosome, no nucleolus. 2. Cell division, eukaryotes, by mitosis, prokaryotes, usually by binary fission. 3. Cytoplasmic membrane, eukaryotes, Fluid phospholipid bilayer, capable of endocytosis, phagocytosis, and pinocytosis and exocytosis. Prokaryotes. Fluid phospholipid bilayer usually lacking sterols, incapable of endocytosis and exocytosis. 4. Cytoplasmic structures. Eukaryotes. Chloroplasts serve for photosynthesis. Mitotic spindle, cell division, microtubes, actin mycofilaments, and intermediate filaments are present. Prokaryotes, no chloroplasts and mitotic spindles, inner membrane bound organelles are absent. 5. Respiratory enzymes and electron transport chains, eukaryotes, located in the mitochondria. Prokaryotes, located in the cytoplasmic membrane. 6. Cell wall. Eukaryotes, usually composed of cellulose but never containing peptidoglycan. Animal cells and protozoans lack cell walls. Prokaryotes have cell walls composed of peptidoglycan. 7. Locomotor organelles. Eukaryotes, may have flagella or cilia. Prokaryotes, some have flagella, no cilia. Universal principles of living cells. 1. Genetic information stored in one-dimensional chemical sequences in DNA, occasionally RNA, is duplicated and passed on the daughter cells. 2. Genetic information contained in base sequence of DNA determines the amino acid sequence of a protein and its three-dimensional structure. 3. Macromolecular structures assemble from subunits by self-assembly of their constituent molecules. The protein, nucleic acid, and lipid molecules themselves contain the information that is required to assemble complex structures. 4. Membranes grow by expansion of pre-existing membranes. 
Organelles such as mitochondria and ER form only by growth and division of pre-existing organelles and are inherited maternally. ER plays the central role in membrane biogenesis as the site of phospholipid synthesis. 5. Signal receptor interactions target cellular constituents to their correct locations. Specific recognition signals incorporated into the structures of protein and nucleic acids route these molecules to their proper cellular compartments. Receptors recognize these signals and guide each molecule to its compartment. 6. Cellular constituents move by diffusion, pumps and motors. 7. Receptors and signaling mechanisms allow cells to adapt to environmental conditions. Minute to minute, decisions generally involve the reception of chemical or physical stimuli from outside the cell and processing of these stimuli to change the behavior of the cell. The cell, the fluid living content of the cell that consists of two major divisions, the cytoplasm and nucleoplasm cell nucleus is called the protoplasm. It is composed mainly of nucleic acids, proteins, lipids, carbohydrates, and inorganic salts. Smallest unit of protoplasm capable of independent existence is the cell. Cell, nucleus, cytoplasm. Components within these compartments are 1. Organelles, metabolically active internal organs. 2. Inclusions, metabolically inactive accumulations. Electron microscope reveals fibrillar elements in cytoplasm which are neither organelles nor inclusions grouped under third category. 3. Cytoskeleton Protoplasm is the living contents of a cell that is surrounded by the plasma membrane. Protoplasm of the nucleus is chiroplasm or nucleoplasm and that external to it is the cytoplasm is a gel-like, viscous fluid, transparent and organized in a colloidal suspension. The principal elements of protoplasm are carbon, oxygen, hydrogen, nitrogen and its lesser amounts calcium, magnesium, phosphate, sulfur, iodine, sodium, potassium and traces of many other elements. Water constitutes 75% of cell by weight. Cytoplasmic matrix It is an amorphous matrix commonly referred to as the hyaloplasm or cell sap. The peripheral cytoplasm immediately underlying the limiting membrane of the cell contains few, if any, organelles and is known as ectoplasm and that comprising the bulk of the cell is known as endoplasm. Surrounding the cell Cell surface coat Cells particularly fibroblasts, muscle fibers, parasites, Schwann cells, and some epithelial cells bear a fuzzy coating also known as glycocalyx. It is especially thick over the microvilli of gut, epithelium and can be resolved with light microscope. Histochemical studies revealed chemical composition to be mostly glycoproteins and to the lesser extent glycolipids. Functions Protection Cautions the plasma membrane and protects it from chemical injury. Immunity to infection Enables the immune system to recognize and selectively attack foreign organisms. Cell adhesion Binds cell together so that the tissues do not fall apart. Inflammation regulation. Coating on endothelial walls in blood vessels prevents leukocytes from rolling slash binding in healthy sites. Micrograph of the brush border of the intestinal epithelial cell. Cell membrane. Composed of lipids and proteins form the barrier between each cell and its environment. It also divides the cytoplasm of eukaryotes into compartments, including the nucleus and membrane-bound organelles. Under electron microscope, 
thin dense lines 2.5 to 3 nm separated by an electron leucant intermediate zone 3.5 to 4 nm a fluid mosaic model a layer of lipids with mobile globular proteins lipid belayer a lipid belayer is a sheet of lipids arranged so that the hydrophilic phosphate heads point out to the water on either side of the belayer and the hydrophobic tails point into the core of the belayer this arrangement results in two leaflets which are each a single molecular layer lipids self assemble into this structure because of the hydrophobic effect which creates an energetically unfavorable interaction between the hydrophobic lipid tails and the surrounding water. Thus, a lipid belayer is typically held together by entirely non-covalent forces that do not involve formation of chemical bonds between individual molecules. Membrane lipids. Lipids form the framework of biological membranes, anchor soluble proteins, stores energy, carry information as intracellular hormones and as intracellular secondary messenger. Major lipids found in biological membranes, phosphoglycerates, sphingolipids, sterols, glycolipids, triglycerides, phosphoglycerates, phosphoglycerates equal glycerol plus alcohol plus two fatty acids. More than half of the fatty acids in the membrane have one or more double bounds, which create band in the aliphatic chain. These bands contribute to the fluidity of the belayer fatty acids. Phosphoglycerates are amphiphilic. The aliphatic chain of fatty acids are hydrophobic. The carboxyl groups of fatty acids and the head group of phosphoglycerates are hydrophilic. The several head groups confer distinctive properties to the various phosphoglycerates. Enzymes can inner convert all phosphoglycerate head groups and remodel fatty acid chains. These enzymes are located on the cytoplasmic surface of smooth endoplasmic reticulum. Of the phospholipids, the most common head group is phosphatidylcholine PC accounting for about half the phospholipids in most mammalian cells. Other head groups are also present to varying degrees and can include phosphatidylserine, PS, phosphatidylethanolamine, PE, and phosphatidylglycerol, PG. These alternate head groups often confer specific biological functionality. PS presence on the extracellular membrane, face of erythrocytes, is a marker of cell apoptosis. Whereas PS in growth plate vesicles is necessary for the nucleation of hydroxyapatite crystals and subsequent bone mineralization. Sphingolipids. Most sugar containing lipids are sphingolipids, derive its name from sphingosine which is a nitrogenous compound containing base that is the structural counterpart of glycerol and one fatty acid of phosphoglyceride. Glycosphingolipids consist of one or more sugar. Sugar head group of some glycosphingolipids serve as receptors for viruses. Triglycerides, they are simply glycerol with fatty acids esterified to all three carbons. They form large oily droplets in the cytoplasm that are convenient way to store fatty acids as reservoirs of metabolic energy. In adipose cells specialized for lipid storage, the triglyceride droplet occupies most of the cytoplasm. Membrane proteins A membrane protein is a protein molecule that is attached to or associated with the membrane of a cell or an organelle. Membrane proteins can be divided into several categories. Integral membrane proteins, which are permanently bound to the lipid layer. Peripheral membrane proteins, that are temporarily associated with lipid layer or with integral membrane proteins.
lipid anchored proteins bound to lipid bilayer through lipidated amino acid residues. In addition, pore-forming toxins and many antibacterial peptides are water-soluble molecules but undergo a conformational transition upon association with lipid bilayer and become reversibly or irreversibly membrane-associated. Membrane proteins have various functions. Some are cell adhesion molecules that anchor cells to their neighbors or to basal laminas. Some function as pumps, actively transporting ions across the membrane. Some function as carriers, transporting substances down electrochemical gradients by facilitated diffusion. Some are ion channels, which when activated permit the passage of ions into or out of the cell. Some function as receptors that bind neurotransmitters and hormones, initiating physiological changes inside the cell. They also function as enzymes, catalyzing reactions at the surface of the membrane. Carrier proteins move specific molecules through the membrane one at a time. Channel proteins Channel proteins extend through the lipid layer. They form a pore through the membrane that can move molecules in several ways. Transport across membrane accomplished primarily by 1. Exocytosis 2. Endocytosis 3. Movement through ion channels 4. Primary and secondary active transport Exocytosis Vesicles containing material for export are ticketed to the cell membrane where they bind via V-snare slash T-snare arrangement. The area of fusion then breaks down, leaving the contents of the vesicle outside and the cell membrane intact. Secretion from the cell occurs via two pathways, non-constitutive, constitutive. Non-constitutive pathway Proteins from the Golgi apparatus initially enter secretory granules where processing of prohormones to mature hormones occurs before exocytosis. Constitutive pathway involves the prompt transfer of proteins to the cell membrane in vesicles with little or no processing or storage. Endocytosis of various types 1. Phagocytosis cell eating is the process by which bacteria, dead tissue, or other bits of microscopic material are engulfed by cells such as PMNLs of the blood. Material makes contact with the cell membrane which then invaginates. The invagination is pinched off, leaving the engulfed material in the membrane and closed vacuum and the cell membrane intact. 2. Pinocytosis Cell drinking is essentially the same process, the difference being that the substances ingested are in solution and not visible under the microscope. Endocytosis, constitutive, clathrum mediated. Constitutive endocytosis is not a specialized process. Clathrum mediated occurs at membrane indentations where the protein clathrin accumulates. Clathrin molecules have the shape of triskelions with three legs radiating from a central hub. As a result, these molecules form a geometric array that surrounds the endocytic vesicle. At the neck of this vesicle, a GTP protein called dynamin is involved in pinching of the vesicle, therefore the protein is called as pinchase. Once the complete vesicle is formed, the clathrin falls off and the three-legged proteins recycle to form another vesicle. The vesicle fuses with and dump its contents into an early endosome. From it, a new vesicle can bud off and return to the cell membrane, which alternately can become a late endosome. This fuses with a lysosome in which the contents are digested by the lysosomal prothesis. Rafts and caveola Areas of cell membrane especially rich in cholesterol and sphingolipids are known as rafts. 
These rafts are probably the precursors of flask-shaped membrane depressions called caveola when their walls become infiltrated with a protein called caveolin that resembles clathrin. Membrane transport proteins, some nonpolar molecules including O2 and N2 and small uncharged polar molecules such as CO2 diffuse across the lipid membranes of cells. Membrane is permeable to very limited substances, so the substances cross the membrane by endocytosis, exocytosis, and transport proteins that forms channels for ions or transport substances such as urea, glucose, and amino acids. Even water is transported through a simple diffusion, being supplemented throughout the body with various water channels, aquaporins. Transport proteins have been studied through patch clamping, cell-attached patch clamp, inside-out patch, whole cell recording. Some transport proteins are simple aqueous ion channels that make them effective for a given substance such as CA2+. Others are gated. In example, they have gates that open, gated, voltage gated, legend gated. External, for example, acetylcholine, GABA, internal, for example, intracellular CA2+, CAMP, or G proteins. Other transport proteins are carriers that bind ions and other molecules and then change their configuration, moving the bound molecule from one side of the cell membrane to the other. Molecules move from areas of high concentration to areas of low concentration down their chemical gradient. Cautions move to negatively charged areas, whereas anions move to positively charged areas, down their electrical gradient. As no energy input is required for the same the process is called facilitated diffusion. Other carriers transport substances against their electrical and chemical gradients and requires energy and is called active transport, moves substances from low to high concentration, requires the use of carrier proteins. Carrier proteins used in active transport include uniporters, move one molecule at a time, symporters, move two molecules in the same direction, antiporters, move two molecules in opposite directions, for example, Na+, K+, ATPase, which moves three Na+, out of the cell, in exchange for each two K+, that moves into the cell. The glucose uniporter transports glucose across membranes. The legend binding site is exposed on the upper membrane surface, the legend binding site is now exposed on the lower membrane surface. The carrier is now ready to transport another molecule. Coupled transport, glucose, Na+, symporter captures the energy from Na+, diffusion, to move glucose against a concentration gradient. Sodium potassium, Na+, K+, pump antiporter. ATP energy is used to change the conformation of the carrier protein. Receptors for hormones, neurotransmitters, and other lesions. Many receptors for chemical messengers have been identified. These proteins are not static components of the cell, but their numbers increase and decrease in response to various stimuli, and their properties change with changes in physiologic conditions. When a hormone or neurotransmitter is present in excess, the number of active receptors generally decreases, down-regulation, and vice versa. In the case of receptors in the membrane, receptor-mediated endocytosis is responsible for down-regulation sometimes. Ligand receptor complexes move laterally in the membrane-coated pits where they are taken into the cell by endocytosis, internalization. This decreases the number of receptors in the membrane 
while some receptors are replaced by de novo synthesis in the cell. Mechanism of action of chemical messengers. Ligands such as acetylcholine bind directly to ion channels in the cell membrane. Thyroid and steroid hormones, etc., enter the cells and act on one or another family of structurally related cytoplasmic or nuclear receptors. The activated receptor binds to DNA and increases transcription of selected mRNAs. Many other ligands in the ECF bind to receptors on the surface of cells and many of them trigger the release of intracellular mediators such as CAMP, IP3, and DAG that initiate changes in the cell function. Consequently, the extracellular ligands are called first messengers and the intracellular mediators are called second messengers. Cytoplasm, binding to enhancer like element in DNA, transformation of receptor to expose DNA binding domain, binding to receptor located in nucleus or in cytoplasm, nucleus, gene, pre-mRNA, mRNA, mRNA, protein, response. Second messengers bring about many short-term changes in cell function by altering enzyme function, triggering exocytosis, and also transcripting various genes. This is done in part by activating transcription factors already present in the cell, and these factors induce the transcription of immediate early genes. The product of these genes activate other genes which produce long-term effects. When activated, many of the membrane receptors initiate release of second messengers via GTP, G proteins, binding proteins. The second messengers generally activate protein kinases, enzymes that catalyze the phosphorylation of tyrosine and serine residues in proteins. In insulin receptor, the intracellular portions of the receptors themselves are protein kinases and in some instances they phosphorylate themselves, orthophosphorylation. Other receptors such as cytokine receptors are not protein kinases themselves but readily initiate phosphorylation of many intracellular proteins. Stimulation of transcription When hormones bind to their receptor inside the cells, the conformation of the receptor protein is changed. The receptor hormone complex moves to DNA where it binds to enhancer elements. The triiridoth ironine T3 Receptors bind hormones in the nucleus. The glucocorticoid receptor is located mainly in the cytoplasm but migrates promptly to the nucleus as soon as it binds to the ligand. Binding of the receptor hormone complex to DNA increases the transcription of mRNAs encoded by the gene to which it binds. G proteins a common way to translate a signal to a biologic effect inside cells is by way of nucleotide regulatory proteins G proteins that bind GTP. GTP is guanosine analog of ATP. When the signal reaches a G protein, the protein exchanges GDP for GTP. The GTP protein complex brings the effect and the inherent GTPase activity of the protein converts GTP to GDP. The GTPase activity is accelerated by a family of RGS, regulators of G protein signaling, proteins that accelerate the formation of GDP. Small G proteins are involved in many cellular functions. Members of the RAP family of these proteins regulate the rate of vesicle traffic between the ER, the Golgi apparatus, lysosome, endosome, and the cell membrane. RHO slash RAC family mediates interactions between the cytoskeleton and membrane. A third family is the RAS family, regulates growth by transmitting signals 
from the cell membrane to the nucleus. These G proteins are made up of three subunits, alpha, beta, gamma. Alpha subunit is bound to GDP, ligand binds to coupled receptor. GDP is exchanged for GTP. Alpha subunit separates from the combined beta and gamma subunits. Beta and gamma subunits do not separate and beta-gamma also activates a variety of effectors. Intrinsic GTPase activity of the alpha subunit converts GTP to GDP. Reassociation for the alpha with the beta gamma subunit. Termination of effector activation. Many G proteins are modified by having specific lipids attached to them. In example, they are lipidated. Trimeric G proteins may be myrostylated, palmitolated, or prenylated.